Hey everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. So these are the elements I've chosen to do uh, page five of the journal series. Um, I really had fun. I picked all these Cosmo flowers this summer and I really didn't think they were going to come out very well. And they really ended up turning out quite beautiful. Now in um, journal page, I think it was number two, I just Mod Podged the flowers. I sealed them onto the paper without using the deli paper. And uh, all the pigment came out of, most of the pigment, the purple, came out of my flower. So today I'm going to go ahead and go back to using the deli paper because back in my um, botanical card video I did purple flowers and I covered them with deli paper and they kept their purple. So it's just a matter of trial and error. Hopefully I can save you a little time with that. So we'll use deli paper on this one and then see how that turns out when it's all completely dry. So let me move these. I wanted to go over the papers real quick. These are papers that I created. I just coffee stained these extra large index cards and I adore these. I just they have the most vintagest fabulous vibe. I love these so much. I know it's silly but I I love stuff that's simple, you know? So, and other artists, you guys get it. Not everybody gets it, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so this is a page that I scraped a long time ago. I painted this, scrape painted this page, and it's got some gold on it, metallic gold. It's all acrylic paint, and I did not write down the colors I used on this. And I have been afraid to use it. I, I pulled it out numerous times, and you know, you just got to use it. I was just watching uh, Nick the Booksmith's one of her latest videos, and she's talking about how go for it, use the originals, and I struggle with that all the time. So I'm going for it. I've gone for it a bunch in the past, but every time it's like this, it's kind of like jumping off a cliff for an artist, you know. Oh my gosh, it's the original, but as long as you scan it, you're good to go, you know what I mean? So these are all cuttings from that same sheet. And something I wanted to share with you, now these are digital prints that I bought from a store called Digital Curio. And this gal, I think, is out of California, and her store is, oh my gosh, I try not to cuss anymore, but it's just badass. Her store is so great. So if you get a chance to check it out, I think you'll be really happy you did. Um, these are all, it's a uh, gold scrapings, um, grunge paper, and... I was concerned. I knew that the gold wouldn't show up because when you print, metallics just don't show up. So uh, I knew it wouldn't, but I was concerned about how they were going to come out. Well, I went ahead and bought the kit anyway because I figured, you know, look at it. I mean, <laughs> however it comes out, I'm going to be using it for something and happy with it. And I'm ecstatic with how this came out myself. So this, all these light areas were metallics, gold and bronze, I believe. And I don't know if she paints these herself or makes them on the computer. I don't know, but I love her stuff. So there's a little plug for her. Don't know her, never met her, never spoke to her. I'm just a customer. So when I put this in the, digi the uh, collage journal page digital kit, I want you to be aware that this is going to show up. It's just not going to show up metallic. So there's a long explanation for something that didn't need to be so long. <laughs> and then here's these. This is a jelly print I did. And I used plain old acrylic paints and golden paints. The bronze and the gold are, and the, um, the coppery color like this right here. This is all golden. Their products are just amazing. I love them. So this is an old torn up jelly print. And then I'm going to put the botanicals somehow on top of this. So let me 
play some music and let's get started. quick I'm breaking in the middle of this to let you know I um, printed these on an inkjet printer with just cardstock so you know I was perplexed about this for the longest time but from what I found inkjet inkjet printers will print matte if you know if the art is matte but if you'll get a nice matte look which I love and I cannot get this it at a out of a commercial laser printer for some reason the um, toner they use has a sheen so if you don't want a sheen your at home inkjet printer is best but the difference is is on a toner printer you can paint on it and do whatever you want on it get it wet mix media on it but if you do that to an inkjet print, this ink can run. So that's what I have discovered through my printing dilemmas. So I thought I'd let you know that. I love this matte look. So I just get these at home. And then I try to mess with them as little as possible just to get away with using them and making beautiful art. So onward we go.
here's junk journal collage page number five all complete and I like this one I think it came out really pretty a couple things I did pick up on and so you know it's just gonna be a gamble for you with your uh, botanicals let me show you what I'm talking about so I used on this botanical I covered deli paper over it and it does make it look very milky but I like that look it did hold a lot of its purple this one lost some of its purple it didn't have that much to begin with and then this one I like the balance of color but I want to say because verse versus page back was at page two I did not use deli paper to cover the botanicals in the junk journal collage page two and then I, po I popped this little petal on here and I did not put any deli paper on top of this and I did seal it in with Mod Podge and it held all of its purple unlike the flower in junk journal collage page two so you're just gonna have to take a gamble with your bot botanicals and even though I've lost some color with some of mine I'm still just ecstatic with my results anyway so that's something to expect when you're working with your botanicals and mixed media products anyway I hope you enjoyed this page I sure enjoyed making it and I hope that you join me for the next page have a great day thanks